going to take the video out every five or two. A, a, a bit of a cage tour because I've not done one for a while. Um, and there was a couple of things that I have actually changed in the cage. So if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it in the comments. So of all these mini pumpkins from Asda, they were around eight euro in plastic. Um, they were in the Halloween section from in Asda, so I thought I might as well buy some. I think I had some left over from last Halloween last year, but I just decided to buy some uh, new ones instead. So here we have the flax sprig, which I've been searching everywhere for, but um, the only place that did the flax sprig was Pets at Home. Um, and it's like they, they sold it in quite a big bag, which I still got outside the Georgia cage. Um, he's not, he's, he's, he's not really been eating it, he's more been like sort of like licking it and sort of like trying to see if he can eat it. And he knows it's there, but I've been wanting some flax sprig for, for a while and I've looked on Amazon and they didn't really look as good as the ones that I have in mind, but the ones saw these had to buy them. Then moving on to his treats bowl, um, I have limited his treats um, at the moment. Um, I used to fill his bowl up pretty full with treats, but um, apparently the treats that are from Pets at Home have sugar in them, um, high quantity of sugar, so I've had to see sort of limit limit of that unfortunately. Um and then in the corner here is um his little got a little box with the lid. I got that from the works and then I obviously added the buttons myself. And then the two stars there are from Alufa from Pets at Home but I cut the loof up and just decided to use the stars um in the cage which I think looks good along with the lines as well. And then moving down we have his food bowl. Um, which does get uh, does, does get quite fast food every two or three times a week. Moving down now to his uh, new wooden hide from Pets at Home, which he has started using. Um, I didn't think he was impressed with me when I cleaned out his uh, coconut hide, which will be a little bit later on in the video. Um, so he, he decided to move himself into his coconut, his, his new wooden hut from Pets at Home. He's got his swing there, which he doesn't, he doesn't really use, um, but it's just there for, you know, I just wanted to put, put, I put treats on it. This hanging thing, which is I've had for my previous uh, previous wolf hamster, um, which I've just, it's always been there. And then moving around to um, his sort of like, what, what do they call it? Um, is it? I know what the material, but it's just like a little teepee uh, with some flat sort of wedge in between the gaps. Um, you know, the, the men, men and the material come to me, but and then um, above here, he has his door is hanging stuff. It's just to make the cage feel full and really, really cozy because there was a light on. Moving into the second cage now, um, here is is his uh, sand bath. Um, this sand is a little bit too dusty because it's from it's from Pets at Home, and I've been meaning to look down for some more. So if you have any suggestions where well, I can get some um, hamp sort of like hamster safe sand, pop them in the comments below and I'll be able by all means to uh, leave them. And then I've got these little stars which I made myself um, handmade by me in the cage. And then this is his second coconut hide from Amazon. Um, it, it says it's going to be, it, it's, um, it says that birds can use it and stuff like it's It's just hamster, hamsters, uh, hamsters can use it all the time. So that's what he's been sleeping in non-stop, but he has moved into his wooden hut now because he figured out how to hoover all that out and put flesh underneath. And then here we have another uh, corner ledge and then he's got his lookout ledge with some flax there as well. Um, so he did just wedged in between the two platforms. Um, I did take out his wheel, unfortunately, because he, he just was not using it at all. And I don't know why. Um, he only used it like two or three times anyway. but. He's got his long tube running at the back that he can always run through um, to sort of get the exercise in. And then below, he's got his uh, wooden ramp going up, and then his tube and, and um, a bendy bridge from Pets at Home, which I customised myself with the buttons as well. Um, he doesn't really use this cage as much as his other one, but you know, it's just something a bit extra. And yeah, that is going to be it for the cage tour. Um, and I'm now going to show you what I have underneath the cage. Um, 
So starting off with the treat, um, as I said, th these I have I've had to limit these to him, um, just because of the high quantity of sugar and um, I, I guess I think it's like salt or sugar in them. But I do have some extra flax in here that I've picked out from the flax spray bags. It's got his milk chocolate drops, and um, I only put a little bit of treats in for him now instead of a full bowl because he just goes and uh, uh, stores it in his cheeks and then uh, hides it away anyway. Um, so I have had to limit them, um, unfortunately. Um, I don't think I'll be happy about it, but um, you know, he can't stay mad at me forever. But um, yeah, I have, I have had to uh, uh, limit them, unfortunately. And then moving on to his um, his food bowl uh, with all of his food in it. Um, this box is I think it's like from Home Bargain, so it is it's quite this big. Um, but this is what I keep all of his food. It's just basically um, hand hamster usually, which I've always fed him. Moving on now, this is a thing that I got from Avda. Um, it's basically what it is is basically it's basically baby, baby food. Um, Ali's kitchen. Um, he does have the carrot one because he used to feed it to him, but I just have this banana one underneath the cage. And to be honest with you, I just keep forgetting to feed it when it comes out. But um, he does like this one because I've fed it to him so far. And then here we have um, the box of uh, the box of, of toys, George's box of toys, I call it. So this hammock I got from Amazon, um, but found out it was just way too big for the cage. And it just filled the cage with darkness. Um, so I did order a new one for him. And um, this is just basically the small wheel that he had in his cage. Um, his first coconut hide that I got from Pax at home. Um, some like back and balls, and obviously some little split seesaws and uh, sort of like wooden tubes there as well. And then this is what I used to uh, clean out his cage. Um, it's basically just, it's got. Um, Clove oil, clove oil, and eucalyptus um, oil in it. This stuff smells amazing, by the way. If you want to do, if you want to get yourself like a decent cage cleaner, I recommend this. It's from Amazon, sixty pound, I think it was. A uh, simple, simple solution. It just gets the job done right, and it makes the cage smell really, really good as well. And then this is a box of paper bedding again from Pets at Home, which this was included in my Pets at Home haul. And um, if you've not seen that, I'll link that video in the description below. Or there should be a card in the top right corner. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got in that box just for now. And then um, I decided to use this live box because it was it had my name on it originally, but I just decided to put George's name on it. And when it obviously comes to night time, I do turn it on, and it looks really good with paper like this as well. So that's going to be that for today's video. And um, again, um, there's, there's, there's only a couple of changes um, in the cage, so there's not much. And I just wanted to see this video for you all. So make sure to give it a thumbs up below. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And other than that, I'll see you all very soon.